Hey guys, Spider Games here. Fallout 76 is going to be releasing here in a couple days, and I just want to give you guys some tools that I wish that I knew when I first started playing. And I'm also going to share with you some things that I intend on uploading within the first week of the game releasing, so stick around. First things first, right outside of the vault, you're going to find a couple corpses with weapons on them. If you turn left upon exiting the vault, you're going to go down two sets of stairs and you're going to find a machete along with maybe some explosives on this corpse. Head back up the stairs and then you're going to find this other corpse right next to the exit. And this guy is going to be carrying the pipe pistol. Perfect weapons for somebody starting out. Now, you're going to want to do some of the main quest here because it shows you basics on how to cook food and boil water, which is very important. But uh, it's going to lead you to this town and you're going to enter this church where you can find various chems like stem packs, mentats, things like that. And inside all these overseers chests, by the way, you're going to find some boiled water. Uh, sometimes I find purified water. I sometimes even find stem packs, which is really important. Um, you do not want to use stim packs just because you're hurt. You're going to want to use water, something alternative. Stim packs are for fighting bosses and emergencies only. Now, first, you're going to want to learn how to boil water. And what you do here is find a wood pile, which shows you what to look for when looking for uh, wood scraps and things like that for boiling water or cooking meat. The next part of the quest brings you to the overseer's camp where you're going to have some workbenches and other things just to show you how this mechanic works and what you want to do when it comes to finding junk which you use to scrap to get you know materials for crafting weapon mods or repairing weapons um you're gonna want to manage this carefully now one problem we have is that we don't have that much room in our actual stash we can only hold 400 pounds worth of stuff so we need to manage our scrap especially now when it comes to junk scrap all junk immediately make sure that you don't have too much steel especially now you get steel from mostly everything everything gives you steel especially weapons and you're gonna be scrapping lots of weapons for mods but um i found that you know i ran out of space and i couldn't figure out you know what was weighing down my stash so much and then i looked at my junk or my scrap rather, and um, which is under junk by the way. But uh, I found that I had over 1200 steel scrap, which is totally unnecessary when I took out, you know, most of it. I only had like 200 steel scrap left. Um, I shaved off probably 30 pounds of crap that was just bogging me down, man. So manage that carefully, look at your cloth, you know, things that aren't that important. Aluminum's important, that's something you never want to dump. Screws are probably the most important thing um, besides black titanium, but that's for, you know, higher level stuff. Now that you know how scrapping works and you've got some boiled water, you got some stem packs that you're going to hold on to for emergencies, I can't emphasize that enough. By the way, there are workbenches all over the place. You can scrap even at the power armor stands that you find. But um, you're going to want to venture out into the world now and gain XP, kill enemies, get weapons, things like that. And I have a couple, you know, ideas on what you should do um, that helped me out a lot in the beginning and some things that helped my friends. Now, first off, I want to mention the IGN map. Um, so IGN is making a map and they're showing you where all the power armor is located. Um, I actually send in tips to them when I confirm and I can show them that I actually found power armor location. I think I help out a little bit. You know, a lot of people are uh, helping them out. You can even, uh, you know, edit the map. But, um, you can find workshops, which is really important because uh, my friend leveled up super fast. He plays on PC and I play on Xbox, um, which means I had like a weak head start and he's already passing me in level. I'm level 35. He's almost level 40. So yeah, he did this by just finding workshops and when you claim it, you're going to start getting waves of enemies to try to kill you and that's where you get a lot of points from. Dying in this game isn't a big deal at all, I don't think. You know, you can just spawn right back to the nearest location that you discovered. And the waves just keep on coming for that. Um, setting up turrets is a good idea. As long as you shoot at an enemy a couple times, 
the turret can finish it off and you'll get the points. However, if the turret straight up outright kills an enemy and you didn't even touch it, you won't get any XP for that. But John is making videos on all this stuff. He's going to show you how to get really important materials such as aluminum, you know, aluminium or illuminati, um, black titanium, real important stuff. So check out his channel. But what I did when I first started out is I wanted weapons and you want to head to the most dangerous part of the map in my opinion just because you find you know, dangerous enemies with really dangerous guns and if they have dangerous guns then you can potentially get those dangerous guns. Now I go to a location called Big Ben Tunnel East. This place is awesome for two reasons. You can farm for weapons which you can scrap for mods. Uh, you also get ammo from this location. I get lots of 308 and shotgun rounds. There are workshops uh, for getting ammo. Like I said, go to the IGN map and you know search up the workshops. It's real easy to use and you should get a nice description on what that workshop produces. But um, yeah, you get nice dungeon loot here. This is where I found my first legendary after you pick up a key to unlock this gate. I have a video on that. I'll put a link to that in the description as well along with the IGN map um, URL. But um, yeah, I also leveled up fast just by killing all these enemies. They spawn in real fast. I can leave Big Ben Tunnel East and go do some stuff in the main city part. Come back, you know, 10 minutes later and the enemies will have spawned in. That was on the beta, however, um, it might be different now that we're actually playing the game. Last thing I got to share with you, my friend said that he got lots of caps this way. He got like 400 caps in 30 minutes. But um, there's an event called Monster Mash, and it's located at Watoga High School, which is in the most dangerous part of the map, of course, because that's all we explore, basically. And you're going around this high school and there's bunches of ghouls spawning in constantly and they're carrying little pieces of candy. What you want to do is collect this candy and there's a mask you need to pick up for this event. Um, you want to collect the candy, don't spend any of it, you can uh, turn them in at this vendor. And you want to save over 100, turn in the 100 uh, candies worth and you get this mysterious mystery reward and something special, I don't know. I never got that, my friend got it though and you see he got lots of caps. Um, you get some XP from doing this as well. But uh, caps are really important just because, you know, when you're doing a certain quest, you're going to want to fast travel and not just run all the way back and forth from these locations. And uh, that's actually something my friend John is also going to be covering how to uh, manage your fast travel abilities um, really well. And there's a whole trick to it. It involves placing your camp in certain places but uh yeah guys those are the basics now i show lots of cool things on my channel i've been showing weapons that i find like when i got the gatling gun you know i showed you know basically what it does the fire rate the damage uh how it sort of works i haven't shown many mods for any of these weapons you got to be very high level obviously because you need to scrap lots of these weapons i found a light machine gun and uh it has a very good fire rate however the damage isn't that impressive but of course when i scrap lots of these i'll get better mods and also better perks as well as time goes by but yeah guys those are the tools that i have to pass on to you of course i think this is just the well-rounded way of starting off there are going to be really good strategies for gaining xp super fast depending on what you want. It all depends on you, basically. Um, like I said, workshops, that route is really good to use just for XP and stuff, plus you farm materials you need. Now, in upcoming videos, um, I'm working on locating all the power armor in the game. I found 12 so far. In the next video, I'm gonna be showing you eight locations. Um, the reason why I'm not showing as many as the last video is just because this is gonna show you how to get the excavator armor, and I have to include how to farm for um, black titanium, which is something you need for crafting this armor, and it's actually pretty rare, but I know good locations to farm it. And then um, I'm also going to be covering how to kill Scorch Beast super fast. Right now I'm doing some Enclave missions. I don't want to spoil anything, but you know, with the Enclave comes Exo Armor and uh, other awesome things that I'm sure you have your suspicions about as well as I. But uh, yeah, 
hopefully I will have all these videos out within the first week of the game releasing. Um, the 8 Power Armor Locations video is going to be uploaded on the 13th or the 14th. Um, the reason why I'm not going to be really uploading right now is because tutorials aren't going to do anybody any good since the game isn't even released. But anyways guys, I hope you found this video informative. I hope this helps you out for those of you just starting out. And give it a like if it does. Subscribe for future videos. Like I said, I'm going to show you how to kill Scorch Beast, which is really important for the Enclave quest. And then uh, Exo Armor. I heard about the location of where to find it, and I'm very close to getting it. And other things. I'm going to keep uploading lots and lots of stuff. There's so much stuff to cover out there. I'm going to be making videos about everything that I possibly can. Anything that interests me uh, will interest you as well. But that's it guys, subscribe for future videos, and as always, I will see you in the next video.